This is Regina Davis, NARUG's Director of Communications in downtown Washington, D.C. at NARUG's Winter Policy Summit. And this morning we are joined by FERC Chairman Neil Chatterjee. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So it's always great when we have FERC commissioners participate in NARUG meetings. And I'm just going to jump in and uh, just ask an obvious question that's on a lot of people's minds. What do you uh, think is the state or the condition of FERC's relationship with the states? I think it's very important um, and very collaborative. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, forums like your meetings and conferences give us the opportunity to interact with our colleagues uh, from the states, from around the country. And I think that dialogue is, uh, is important to our work here at the federal level, but also at the state level as well. So is there anything else that we should be doing to um, improve the relationship, areas where we can uh, be finding some consensus and common ground? I think just looking for ways to open up new lines of communication. Um, I was uh, honored that a number of state commissioners uh, uh, came to my hometown of Lexington, Kentucky earlier this fall for a conference that I hosted, the Envision Forum, uh, and was really pleased to have so many state colleagues uh, come and participate, including the then NARUC uh, President Nick Wagner. What kind of feedback did you get um, from uh, those folks? I think people really appreciated the opportunity to engage, um, and I think uh, uh, the, the feedback I got was unanimous that we should continue to look for forums like that, that we could all get together and collaborate. Okay, that's great. So, um, you've already touched on this, but how is NARU most uh, beneficial to not only uh, its members, state members, but also uh, federal partners as well? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, one great example is uh, uh, at this meeting every year, there's a great conversation on SEAMS issues, which uh, can really better inform the Commission's work. I think the cyber briefings effort uh, is uh, in which we work together to ensure that uh, state regulators are, are briefed uh, on federal cybersecurity knowledge is important. Important. Um, uh, our Office of External Affairs maintains close relationships with uh, with NARUC. I think this is all uh, a critical part of uh, the relationship. So, is there an area of FERC that, or an attribute of FERC that people really don't understand, or does not get the sort of attention that it should? Uh, one example that comes to mind is our reliability program. I think at the end of the day electric reliability for us at the federal level and I think for our state colleagues as well is our foremost responsibility and um, I think uh because those issues aren't necessarily always as high profile, I think sometimes our reliability program goes under notice, but it doesn't mean it's not incredibly important. So what can we do to uh, help uh, increase the visibility of, of that program? I think just continued conversation, collaboration, and participation. Okay, and later on you're, you are going to be addressing our commissioners at our commissioner-only lunch. So um, can you foreshadow what you are going to chat about with our, our commissioners? We just, really appreciate that. No, I, uh, I appreciate it as well. Just I mean, there are so many issues that are before us uh, uh, here at the federal level and I know at the state level as well. And um, I just want to touch on, you know, some of the uh, Topics that uh, that bring states and the federal government together. Uh, talk about purple reform, uh, the state of our markets, uh, the energy transition that we're all experiencing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot to cover. So this is the first NARUC meeting of a new decade, not just the year, but a new decade. So as we look forward to this new decade, what have we learned from the previous decade that should in inform us and what we should be thinking about? I mean the previous decade, you know, the energy transition and the uh, changes that we have seen uh, in the energy landscape were so dramatic from the shale revolution to the increased deployment uh, of renewables, the increased affordability of renewables, innovation, technology, kind of fundamentally altering uh, the, the, the structures of our uh, uh, energy landscape. And I'm excited to see what innovation, what changes uh, the, the new decade will bring, um, and I'm confident that uh, state and federal regulators uh, will uh, adapt to uh, an ever-changing landscape. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us this morning? I just appreciate the opportunity to be here. Um, as I stressed in the beginning, I think the relationship uh, between the Commission and our state uh, uh, regulatory counterparts is so important, and uh, I'm just uh, touched that you would take time to uh, give me this opportunity this morning. I look forward uh, to a continued dialogue with my colleagues throughout the day. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.